What's happening guys? I'm in my 2006 Subaru Legacy GT right now and my check engine light just came on. Something very weird, something very weird has been happening lately. My turbo for the past, I don't know, 10,000 miles or so, I have 117,000 miles right now. My Subaru turbo for the past 10,000 miles has made a very funny, uh, almost like a leaking sound at very high pressure. I haven't done anything to it. It's a completely stock, uh, entirely stock Subaru, except for I have a, an intake that my brother-in-law tricked me into switching him for. So anyways, let's see if we can hear it, okay? I'm gonna downshift a little bit, and I kind of am worried to do this because I don't know if it's gonna break it anymore. So let's get it down a little bit. Let me know if you can hear this. Oh, did you hear it? Okay, so what happened was it sounded just like letting the air out of a balloon. All of the air just went out really quick and I don't know what the problem is. So if you know what the problem is, please let me know down in the comments. Um, I am thinking my next move is I wanna take it into a Subaru tuner, like a real tuner, not the Subaru dealership, because those are really the stealer ships. <laughs> um, and take it into somebody who really knows, and there's obviously something wrong with my turbo, so it's gonna be a couple hundred bucks anyways. So what if I did a stage one? I don't know. What if I got a new turbo? What if I got a bigger one? What if I started tricking this baby out? Probably be better than getting a new car, or better going than going to the dealership and letting them ream you for everything you're worth. <laughs> so, um, if you love Subarus and turbos, then you should subscribe to my channel because I am gonna start pimping this baby out. I've had it for, let's see, I've had it for about five years now. It, it had been my dream car ever since I was in high school. One of my buddies got one and I was so jealous of it. And finally, uh, it, it, you know, I found the perfect one at the exact opportunity that I was changing cars and I got it and it, it hasn't had one problem. I got it with about 45,000 miles on it. I don't drive much, so I keep the miles pretty low. And I also don't drive it very hard. I only race it every once in a while. And I think that's been key to it not breaking down. Um, so I've, I've been very lucky with no problems up to this point. I haven't even taken it in. I don't even really change its oil. I only change its oil like every 10,000 miles. And I know that that is not best practices, but I don't care because changing it every 3,000 is so bogus. That's the biggest ripoff. You're like, you're throwing away good oil, good fossil fuels. So, um, I, I really do think I am going to uh, start modding my Subaru. I, I wouldn't really call it modding, more like it's broken and I'm gonna fix it, but I'm gonna fix it with something that was more awesome than the thing that was in it before. And as pieces and parts start falling off, I'll just keep pimping it out. I don't know. I really like this car. I don't see any reason for me to get any other car besides this one, as long as it gets me from point A to point B in a pretty rapid manner. Because you know, the WRXs, the Legacy GTs, mainly the Legacy GT, not a, I mean, WRX is kind of a, it's not a sleeper, if you know what you're looking at. And they're pretty, I don't know, forget I ever mentioned the WRX. But with the Legacy GT, debatched, is a total sleeper. If it wasn't for the hood scoop, you'd never even know. Okay, well, I'm pulling up to the house now. Um, so it's Saturday, and on Monday, I'm going to start calling around and seeing if I can get some expert professional advice on this. And, oh, she's going to sleep now. She's going to sleep. 
And uh, I don't know, like I said, if you have any comments um, on what I should do to my Subaru, let's take a look around on the outside. Hang on. Okay. First of all, I never wash it. Oh, there we go. So, what I did is I blacked out these back lights and I, my rims are looking kind of red right now, but they used to be black. I don't know, maybe it's a little rust on there. So this is my wife's. She has a, just a standard legacy. So I look forward to hearing all of your comments and shut up about the scarf, okay? I just went skiing, bye.